Okay, uh, what we have here is we have the dual balance slide. This is set up uh, in our display trailer. Again, we don't have very good lighting in here. I uh, apologize for that, but hopefully I'll give you an idea of the operation. Uh, this is the dual package. This is where we have the two smaller panels, one on each side, and then the two larger panels in the middle. Kind of architecturally the way uh, an architect designs openings a lot of times. And the unique thing about this is this door, as it starts to slide, it actually collapses within its own footprint. So thus it maximizes the clear door opening, giving you maximum opening out of that existing condition. Um, some of the things that are very unique about it is the egress capability, as well as the way it works, and the fact that it's slide door technology. So what I'll do is I'll go up and activate this. I've got to activate this with a touchless push plate because as you can see there's no sensors on this whatsoever but you'll see the typical operation of it by me uh, touching the push push plate and as you can see that door slides and collapses with the smaller panels collapsing towards the interior side and the larger panels collapsing towards the outside. It's called a balance slide because it collapses right into the middle. It doesn't protrude out from the inside or the outside. So, uh, so that one more time. Uh, the door you can see behind it, if the light is good enough, is a circular sliding door that's on the display trailer. Uh, anyway, uh, that's its basic function, its operation. I'm going to go up to you now and I am going to show you what would happen if this was in your building, there was an emergency, people had to egress the building, and for some reason they snuck by the sensors. So, because this one has, it doesn't have sensors, we can do that. So I'm going to walk up to it, I'm going to push on it, it is going to do the exact same thing that it does as it typically opens. It's not going to break away like you would typically find in our industry. The egress of this is simply the operation of the door. The other thing, typically if a door ever breaks away, somebody has to go back and manually put that door back on its catch before it's going to go to work. This particular door will stay stagnant for about 60 seconds and then it will go back to work and re-energize itself. So it's allowing the exiting and now it's going back to work as an automatic door. So uh, another scenario that seems to happen when we've got small openings and we're trying to maximize those openings is people as they're going through the doors with carts and things like that, they have a tendency to bump into the doors. Well if that happens in a normal type of a door, a door other than a gill door, it's going to knock that door off the breakaway. Again, if you knock it off the breakaway, what's going to happen? Somebody, your door is going to be down until somebody can come back and do a reset on that. Again, if that same scenario happens with this gill door, it's going to have no effect on it whatsoever. The door is going to stand stagnant for about 60 seconds, and then it's going to re-energize itself and go back to work. So this is the dual gill door balance slide. Uh, same functionality as the single one, the one we looked at first. This particular one is designed to go inside of an opening. It can also be mounted uh, surface applied on the interior side, just like the one in the uh, uh, going into the, uh, the, the warehouse offices that you saw earlier. So, if, if for an example, if this was a pair of six foot swing a pair of 3-0 doors creating a six-foot opening, we could pull that out, surface apply a package exactly like this on the inside face, and match up to the exact same opening as that swing door. So very unique features and a unique product for those applications where you uh, have minimum opening. The other great aspect of this door we have a portal package, and a portal package is a door that sits back about 10 or 11 inches further to the interior side. Now you can take a fire rated door 
take that fire rated door, keep it in hold open at all times with a magnetic hold opener or some type of a, a hold open closer that's tied into the life and safety system. You can eliminate having to use that fire rated door to control your traffic and allow the Gildor balance slide to control the traffic. And if there ever is a life and safety issue, then at that particular time the Gildor goes to the open position, the uh, fire rated doors come close and they control your fire barrier. So very, very unique and the only reason that we can do that is because we collapse within our own footprint. So I can, with just a minimum of about a 10 or 11 inch setback, I can collapse my door and not interfere with a fire rated door that is controlling the life and safety issues. Just another aspect of what can be done with this particular door.